Hi guys, Gaming Bear here. Right, today we're looking at the uh, the Seafang and comparing it, it as a tier 8 to the, uh, the Spitfire Mark, Mark 14. You see survivability, it's got 400 points, which is made up of, well, the weight is 4,600 uh, kilos compared to the 5,020 kilos of the Spitfire, which means this has got more hit points in comparison to the weight side of things. So you're looking at better power to weight ratio, which is nice. Then we come to the uh, the guns. They're identical, 530 points. The twi the, the quad 20 mil cannons, which is really really nice, as you all know anyway from seeing the uh, the standard uh, Spitfire. And what we have air speed wise, 755 compared to 724. Now we are looking optimum speed 446 compared to 391 with a standard Spitfire very very nice store speed 120 for both rate of climb 70.5 compared to 62.1 that eight difference does make quite a bit of difference so it's great at well speed wise acceleration very designed like a whip it to go in a straight line whereas the normal spitfire is like a bunny trying to dodge out the way here we come to the uh, the issues maneuverability so let's compare the two maneuverability oh come on there we go so you're looking turn time to do 360 degrees 10.8 seconds compared to 8.6 so bit of a change and the roll go is uh, 130 degrees a second compared to uh, 110 so rolling it's better but and the controllability is 85 compared to 86 so the Spitfire is slightly more more controllable altitude performance they both operate properly at uh, 1600 meters so without further ado I'm gonna get in and sadly it's 12,000 gold so let's we need to see exactly how how that how much that's gonna be looking at the cost and is it worth it for this for this plane a tier 8 so let's get in and have a look in the hangar and have a look at the uh, the tier 8 side of things so tier 8 coming in now what we have similarly well we've got the uh, ME 109 now what we want to do is compare tech tree British tech tree call this up and do a comparison because this is in a way pretty similar so looking at the uh, the airspeed difference we're looking 446 compared to 525 there's 80 or so in it acceleration 60 compared to 70.5 so this actually climbs faster than the uh, the ME 109 so really really surprising the guns this has got 20s and 30s so this has got four to two of each compared to four of the uh, the 20 mils survivability is identical weight wise 4.4.6 fat or 46,000 and there's, there's only about well, there's 32 difference in it the Germans just slightly heavier but power to weight and hit points effectively they come out to the same then we're looking maneuverability comparing the two now this is one place where this starts to uh, to gain on its own so this has got slightly more legs to get a better better top speed even though it hasn't got as such good acceleration so we're looking average turn time 10.8 compared to 13.1 so that's a quite a significant difference and an imp a, boona, a bonus a bonus as a combination of a benefit and a bonus and a roll of 130 compared to 100 degrees a second with the the ME controllability 85 compared to 79 so you can see the controllability and the way it operates the Seafang is better than the uh, the ME 109 altitude this operates at 1600 this operates at 1800 so we've done a, uh, a review of the ME 109 now the only thing left to actually do is for me to get the uh, the gold and to get into the Seafang but you can see with this it's not just a fighter it's a multi-role attack craft with rockets or bombs you've either got one or the other 
So I'm going to sort out purchasing this and we'll get in and test it out so you can make a judgement as to whether it's going to suit you in a tier 8 role and we'll see what it's like as a money maker. So bear with me. So I've just purchased some gold and it's time to, uh, to get this. So let's purchase it. Get the slot. I don't want to use any of those. And let's just... I, I really... I don't, why do I have to purchase that? No, no, I, I don't want to use my tokens. Let's get back to the aircraft list. Okay. Bear with me a sec. Okay, taking the slot, the hangar slot out, we'll just purchase that and we'll get in. There we go, Sea Fang. And let's view it in the hangar, see what it's like. Uh, it does look pretty nice, actually. So we know it's got the legs. Now, let's first thing first, we get the, uh, the my Swift Pilot straight in. We'll put some basic equipment on. Fire extinguisher, and then, then we'll know what it's like straight out of the box. Control surface. Apply those. Yes. So, and then we can work out what equipment would suit this. So you can see the, uh, the cannons there. Well, without further ado, let's get into uh, into a first battle with this and see exactly what it's like. So, I think it's going to be, uh, well, we know what it's like. It's going to be a combination of the normal British Spitfire gameplay, but with a little bit less manoeuvring and a bit more of a boom and zoom. So, I think it's going to be an entertaining one. And what we then need to see is how it, how it uh, rock and rolls and whether it's able to, uh, to to make money exactly how it compares to the uh, the germans how it really compares against other tier eights and will that lack of mobility will that lack of dogfighting ability of hamper it or will the will it be superseded by its its effective ability to get into uh, to combat and take it straight to the enemy and that's what we need to know and that's what you need to know and we need to be able to see you are approaching the area of combat operations be ready okay that looks really nice oh gorgeous wow oh it's beautiful i do like my yeah, my british planes so i'm going to ping the map let them know i'm going for the airfield to start off with let them know and i'm on yes i'm on this side as well which is good so we try and get in high and you see what this is like let's try a bit of 14 15 second boost that's really nice look how sleek it is 600 kmh we're still boosting 1600 meters coming up to uh, 670 kmh that's it boost is done two k just approaching uh, 2000 meters and we're up ahead of everybody else. This is really, really nice. So we'll see what it's like getting in up against the A6. Let's uh, try and take him out. Oh, ho, ho, my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is fantastic. Wow. I thought it might be nice, but I, di I didn't expect it to be this mobile. Wow. Oh my goodness, this is fantastic. It may be even better than the standard Spitfire. Let's go after him. Try and force him to crash.
Let's boost in after him, see what we can do. It's going to be difficult for anyone to get away with, away from this. He's giving us a good run for our money. Time to go. Boom. Let's get out of here. Try and use the speed. Use gravity. Get away. 700 kmh. Let's keep it rocking and rolling. Boost through. They're trying to follow us. Okay, we're away. The TA, let's go for him. He's gone. Let's get up high. It when you if there's something you can't deal with or a lot of them that you, you're having issues with, then you just make yourself not there. It, but it's a bit va uh, a bit vulnerable. Those 20 mil cannons on the back are very, very nice. But we've helped the team to completely control the area. It's a really, really... So th first, first one, 3,275 uh, points. Anything over 2,000 is good. And this is 50% more than that. And we've got someone over there coming in. Let's get a bit of height and let's go in and deal with him. What are we facing? Well, let's just get up there. We've got 10 more seconds of boost. Gaining on him quite nicely. Three, two, one. And we just keep... That's it. We're still accelerating towards him. Keep it rocking and rolling. He's almost in range. And he's gone. Wow, this is amazing. This fills in the flaws. It, the the manoeuvrability seems not far behind a normal Spitfire. And, and there's no, no special equipment on this. Nothing. And But that ad additional ability to just zoom in. We've got someone coming in behind. Let's go in and try and deal with that. The ability to, to have this amount of speed is really, really something else. You don't expect it with a British plane and... Uh, OK, no one there. It must have just been a ghost on the radar or something. I don't know. So, uh, wow. I just need to do more damage. We're going to win before I do more damage. This has helped the team to win so quickly. Victory is almost ours. Yeah. You've, I'm on the second plane, and it's it's all over. We've helped the team win that quickly. Wow, I can't stop saying wow. It's it's really that good. And we're f we're f that plane we are catching up to. We would have had him. We'll be waiting for you back home. It see four thousand seven hundred and fifty-five doesn't seem like a lot. Uh, relatively, w imagine if we'd been able to shoot some more people down. Th this was after just one encounter. So let's see how much we made from that one encounter. Of it in it's incredible, and that's that's with without any any bonuses, any special equipment. One hundred and thirty-nine thousand credits, repairs just four thousand seven hundred. But 139, just under 140,000 credits. And we're third, but we could have done better. 
It was chasing down that uh, that that guy who just the TL. And it was, oh no, it was the uh, T152. Oh no, and the yeah, uh, the TL, the Emmy. You saw us. We were able to get the get him and take him out. One of the, you know, just how good that plane is. And it was like, well, we we could just keep following him, and just take him to pieces. Just amazing. The Sea Fang is something else. It really is. So, do I rate this? incredibly yes and that's without any special equipment i've given out quadruple paws before that's like a a, a, a four star but oh look at the the, the double play the double uh, propellers this is the the first tank and plane that i've or ship that i've ever given a five star rating out on a quintuple paws five star Five star rating, and this is the only one that I've ever given out. That says something. So I'm just going to pause this. Let's have a look at the. Uh, so we want to have a look and see how much, really, where how much it is and whether it's worth that amount. So looking at the tech tree, we we're looking twelve thousand gold for the uh, for the plane. So twelve thousand gold. Let's call up the premium shop type in I'm just going to type in bear me a second so type in any amount so let's go for 12,000 37 so let's do put that 36 pounds 23 so let's see if it's <clears throat> is it what else can you get for 36 pounds let's let me just call the other one up bear with me so 36 pounds is it worth at, at what level is it for it being the best plane that i have ever tested so it puts it up at a similar price less less expensive than the mitsubishi i haven't tested this it's better than the uh, the ME109. I've got the Meteor. It's better than the Meteor. So, yes, it's it's valued at this sort of price, but it's an ex absolutely exceptional plane. It really is. So, a quintuple pause or five stars for this Seafang F32 absolutely wonderful plane really is so 460 year damage up to 750 760 meters and it'll still do 460 up to 950 meters that's just just blister blisteringly good the i thought that the the maneuverability would be an issue but at this level it doesn't seem to be any issue whatsoever the speed really makes up for it and even against the uh, the the tl it was just that the, the the me 109 even though it supposedly has more speed wasn't able to get away and we just took it it, it was a little bit slow but we managed to take him apart we hunted him down and took him to pieces this is just a blindingly good plane it really is it's the best plane and the, be the best premium plane I have tested so far. What more can you say? It is... I didn't expect it to be this good. It really is. And it's got my five star, or five paws. Quintuple paws of appreciation. That's it. And it's worth the money. It's a lot of money. But if, it, if you're going on the British line, you really have to have this. It'll help you uh, grind up your, your commander... And it's just a wonderful plane to play. Wow. Yes, so thank you. I'm the Gaming Bear. This is the uh, the Seafang. And just gobsmacked because it's so good. So click on the, uh, the subscribe button. Come and watch more videos. I'm going to review every single plane that there is in World of Warplanes. I will. I've done almost every, uh, every tank. I 
the ones that I've got, and I'm running it 400 and whatever pl the tanks at the moment. The ships, I've got almost every premium, done reviews of those, and now I'm working through the, uh, the planes, and we will get to do every single plane. So subscribe, and then you can see all of those reviews, you can see how they compare, and you can see exactly what they're like. So thank you so much for watching. I'm the Gaming Bear, and this has been the exceptional 5-star Seafang. Thank you guys. Catch you later. Bye.